So Manny Pacquiao's scheduled to be on the undercard of Terrence Crawford versus Jeff Horn. Pacquiao's supposed to fight Mike Alvarado, and it's a big cherry pick, right? Everybody feels that way. I mean, imagine if they felt that Jesse Vargas was a cherry pick <clears throat> to Manny Pacquiao. You can imagine what they think of Mike Alvarado, right? Jesse Vargas was a cherry pick. A dangerous fighter for Keith Thurman. Coming off an injury or whatever it is. <laughs> but not for Manny Pacquiao. Well, for Manny Pacquiao, that's a cherry pick. So I get it. I understand why they think Mike Alvarado is a cherry pick. And not only that, he's on the undercard. But why is he on the undercard? Why is he not the main event? Well, it's pretty simple to me. It's the same reason Jeff Horn got the, uh, that robbery decision over Manny Pacquiao. It's the reason why, you know, Terrence Crawford is going to fight Jeff Horn. Remember how there was this talk about Manny Pacquiao fighting Terrence Crawford, but it was, it was supposed to be at 140. And then those talks went away, and then Pacquiao fights Crawford, uh, Horn and loses a decision. Terrence Crawford goes up in weight. He's going to get make his welterweight debut for a title, for the WBO title. And it's the same reason why Manny Pacquiao is going to be on the undercard of that fight. So to sum it up, it's to sell you Terrence Crawford, who did really bad on his first pay-per-view event against Postal, and use Manny Pacquiao in that card so that way the views are a lot higher, a little bit higher, right? And it's also to sell you that Manny Pacquiao is also the B-side. Right? He is the B side. And we all know what the A side do. They stack the fight against you. They stack the odds against you of winning this fight. It's all programming. That's all that is. Bob Arum put on his promoter's hat and figured out a way to sell you Terrence Crawford. And then in the future, more than likely, Terrence Crawford versus Manny Pacquiao with Crawford, the A-side, because after all, Manny Pacquiao should be just about done. Um, and so Pacquiao, looks, it looks like he's being done dirty, but uh, I, think he, I think he understands that. Why else would he sign off for this? Um, maybe he's just betting on himself, right? Like, letting the old man underestimate him, stack the cards against him, and maybe he can pull it out, right? And, and beat after he gets through Alvarado, assuming that Crawford gets through Jeff Horn, um, he can turn back the clock and beat the living daylights out of Terrence Crawford. Who knows? Maybe that's what he's thinking. But, uh, you know, I don't, feel, I don't feel sorry for Manny Pacquiao because... This is a man that doesn't ask people to feel sorry for him. Uh, more than likely, he's, uh, you know, being a, a good sportsman and passing the torch to the next generation, whether it's Crawford, whether it's Lomachenko, or he's letting the old man underestimate him to try to pull off uh, the upset or the apple card, if you will. Anyway, that is my video. Peace.